What is up YouTube? It's your boy, Motocab Adventure. Here to talk to you today about how I transport my target recurve bow in this Easton backpack on my motorcycle. All right, so this is typically how I transport this thing. Uh, you know, you can obviously wear it as a backpack if you're on like a smaller bike, a uh, sport bike, whatever. But I just use two rock straps, uh, cross them over each other, and uh, you know, as long as you tighten it down enough, uh, it should be good to go. So I just wanted to make it clear that uh, Easton doesn't pay me to just say anything about their bag. I don't think it's the best. I don't think it's the worst. I just don't know what other options there are. Eight. Another thing too is, I'm not the best at archery. Uh, I barely do it probably once a year. So, you know, obviously I'm gonna suck. Uh, I won't be stacking arrows. You don't have to tell me in the comments that I suck. Uh, I'm well aware, thanks. So I'm going to the Golden Gate Park Archery Range, uh, which is a free public range. It's a little sketchy because of the way it's set up. Uh, they don't have targets at different ranges with uh, the firing positions at the same point. Uh, they just have targets all at the same spot and you back up or go forward as to how much distance you want. And so you just kind of have to trust the people to the left and right of you to not shoot a bow and arrow at you. Uh, but I mean, that's not going to happen. I don't know. I, I've never heard of any incident happening here, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, hopefully it isn't crowded here. It's Sunday. Uh, we're deep into COVID-19 stuff. So I'm gonna be wearing a mask. I'm gonna try to stay away from people. If it's just too crowded, I would I just won't go. Um, and really, the point of the video is, is more so to tell you guys like it's it's just another reason why you don't need to own a car, or it's also just something that you can get into as a motorcyclist if you don't have a car. It's another hobby that you can you can uh, take up and go enjoy. Now, since it's during COVID-19, I'm I'm filming this. If you watch this and you say, oh, I want to get into archery too. Uh, I wouldn't suggest just going and buying a, a bow online because um, you're going to need to size your arrows correctly to your draw length and you're going to want to get the right weight limbs. There's just a lot involved and I would suggest waiting until everything clears up and uh, you go to your local archery shop. Hopefully it's still around after all this. Don't go to Dick's Sporting Goods. Don't go to wherever. Alright, so we're turning in here. 47th Ave from Fulton Street. And looks like there's some people out here. All right, so I'm gonna quickly walk you through the contents of my bag here. Again, this is the Easton Club XT. So open up the uh, front compartment. I've got my finger tab, uh, some boomerangs so I can flex on the people at Golden Gate Park. I've got my sight. Got some goodies in here. The stringer for my bow, some snacks, some snacks. Open up the big compartment. Cardboard for the target, which I didn't need. My first aid kit, which has a tourniquet on the top. A 2.5 liter Osprey water bladder, which I keep in place with that Velcro tab. This rectangular zipper pouch holds the limbs, bowstring, and the riser. This plastic tube that extends out holds all the arrows and potentially a quiver. I'll try not to bore you too much with the assembly of this bow. It's pretty straightforward if you know how to assemble any target recurve bow. All right, well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for joining me. I uh, hope you learned something. If you liked it, you know what to do. If you didn't like it, you also know what to do. If you have any questions uh, on any of my gear or how to go about uh, getting into archery, let me know. Um, a really great resource is the archery subreddit. Lots of people will help you there. Another really good resource, probably my favorite, is a YouTuber called New Sensei. I've been following him and uh, He's got a lot of really good tutorials. Nothing beats actual 
in-person instruction, which unfortunately you can't really do right now. Okay, thanks for joining me. Take care, ride safe.